everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey and Peach Cannon. For the next two days, I'm gonna be in South by Southwest doing some South by Southwest gaming things. And I thought I would take you all along for the ride. I'm really excited and nervous. It's my very first time being an invited guest to an event like this. Normally I'm just a fan girl. So we're gonna see all the things that they have me do and I'm so excited and so lucky to be here. So let's go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like people are being let in over here, so I guess that might be it. <laughs> They're not letting me in unless I have someone to escort me, which is understandable. So we're gonna wait until they go get me. She's not a cool girl, this one. Okay, so they got me all set up here with some headphones. We got some keyboard. This keyboard's so pretty. And we got this amazing double wide monitor. I don't even know what it's called. I'm a dork. We got a cool mic. Oh look over here is so sick. It's just like goals. We're going live in about I think like 30 minutes. This is so fun. Ah! We take a quick interlude to see a familiar face crying Kelsey overwhelmed with gratitude that um a day in the life of a BuzzFeed employee hit one million on my personal channel. This is, I mean, I remember my first hit on BuzzFeed and how big of a deal it was to me, but this is so above and beyond. It's so amazing to see, you know, four years of hard work on my personal channel are paying off. And thanks, Guy, on the speaker for talking through my emotional moment here. It's fine. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a quick thank you and say that those kind of things don't go unnoticed to me. I notice every success and try to help make the best content that you guys are gonna enjoy, so. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to gaming now. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. I think they're coming for me. Yo, yo! Go, go, go. Okay, go, but like be chill. But be chill, go but be chill. Bold, I don't wanna be bold. I wanna be chill about this. How dare you, bird? Do not give away my location. I just finished my stream. Uh, my little station was right there and it was so much fun. It was really cool because there's people that come up here and will actually watch me while I was streaming live. So I had like a live audience and then I had an audience on my actual stream. It was very fun, very unique streaming experience. So I met up with my brother. This is him, his name is Chris. Now hanging out at the Bumble Hive where I'm going to be doing a thing with Always Open. I'm really excited to be a special guest. This is very cool. So we did, hey, what's up? <laughs> we just finished at the uh, always open live taping. It was so much fun. I've never done a podcast before. It's oh, do, do you want to be just that guy that's gonna like walk up behind my vlogs all the time, like a? Yes, I want to do that. So, good crap. Um, that time I was just getting on the right side of the street. Fair enough. I had never done a podcast before and it was really fun. The ladies are super cool and I hope I get to do it again. I love Rooster Teeth, so big fan. Now we're headed back to the main event. We're gonna check out the show floor. I'm really excited because I haven't had time yet to do so. And then we'll probably start going to some parties.
finished up in the expo, I got to play a couple new indie games and see a lot of games. And I got to see some new gear and a lot of board games, a lot of cool merch. Uh, I think, what was your favorite thing that you saw, Chris? I like the game where you tried to get more treasure than your friends. Uh, and I lost, and perhaps even caused you the got winner second. to win. You got second, but you also accidentally put your money in the wrong bank. Well, I liked it because I got to be a bully, and I stole you, treasure from other people. Yeah, you kept stabbing me and taking my yeah. money, and yeah, I was, was like, bro, stop, though! That was great. It was rude! Now we're gonna head out to dinner, and then after dinner, we'll be back at Bumble Hive place for the always open party and then we'll sleep maybe <laughs> maybe good morning it's the morning of my panel and the game awards i'm so tired <laughs> i'm ready to pick myself up by my bootstraps do the day day i'm at the hotel where the first thing of my day is i'm going to be doing a rehearsal for the gaming awards very cool <laughs> And the award for excellence in gameplay goes to... Just finished up the rehearsal. I hope I do okay. I was a little nervous. I guess someone wants to interview me. I don't know why. <laughs> Now we're on to our next thing. We're going to the panel green room. We're gonna rehearse the panel a little bit with uh, Michael before we actually do the panel. <laughs> Got my speaker cards here, cheat cards. And we're going in, I think now, to the room where I'm gonna help speak about things. <laughs> Doing so well. How do you think I'm gonna do? We're going to be amazing and talk all things Game of Thrones. So, <laughs> it's going to be great. You have great energy with the two of you. It's going to be awesome. Let's go fine. I'm fine. It's happening. There's people here. There's not a lot. Honestly, same. Uh, yeah, it's almost like we're prepared. We've changed notes. This is this is shocking. We've well, seen very success lately with Dignitas female CSGO team who recently won their second world championship in Poland a few weeks ago. Second in a row. Second in a row. Humble, humble, but not. <laughs> uh, given the team's success, do you anticipate that Dignitas will do more to support female gamers in the future? Absolutely. Um, you know, one of the one of the nice things about coming into Dig was that we had our CSGO female team. Uh, we've been out in front of, of the women's movement for a long time. Everybody for showing up. We appreciate it. I've just finished moderating my very first panel, baby's first panel, and it actually went so well. I'm really lucky that I had a great team and a teammate right here and my brother to um, help support and like, like kind of prepare me. And Michael was actually so easy to talk to. Originally I was like, he's a CEO and I can't know how to speak to this person, but he's also really liked Game of Thrones. And honestly, I could talk anyone's ear off about Game of Thrones. I got to see some speedsters here, which was so cool. And uh, now we're gonna go get something to eat and then we'll be at the Game Awards where I get to present and then they're gonna be showing a clip of Hunter Baby Challenge. Avengers Tower looks really different in real life. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Esteban Beelers, and I'm the Welcome gamers, streamers, and developers alike to the South by Southwest Gaming Awards. Everyone's miserable, no one had a fun, no one met anyone fun. She's just going home. That was a terrible celebration vacation. <laughs> Just what I needed. More of a reason not to have kids. Here to uh, present the Excellence in Gameplay Award is Kelsey Impichike from BuzzFeed. Wow. Definitely should have children in real life. Gameplay is what sets games apart from any other kind of media. It's the ability for the audience to be part of the production. It's what makes games fun for every moment you play it. The award for excellence in gameplay goes to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. What a great honor to win 
this category. Just finished up at the Gaming Awards and I was really nervous. But it was really fun and I, you know, didn't do anything wrong and some people thought I was funny. That just about wraps up my time here at Austin. I'm flying out today, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up and comment below what your favorite part was and what you'd like to see me do next. And as always, that's my brother in the background. Subscribe and like, and uh, especially subscribe and like for my awesome acne that I'm getting. Okay, bye!